I thought tonight I would do a large abstract card swipe landscape, that sort of thing. It's been a while since I've done one of those and I really wanted to see if I could recreate it, not exactly the same way, but recreate those trees and those beautiful marks that I did in one of the videos that seems to be very popular. So I just thought I'd try and go down that path again, but this style of painting, you don't want to be too attached to the outcome. You just want to go with the flow, so to speak, is a very good you know, term to use for this style of painting. So let's get started. It's, 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 it's absolutely boiling in Sydney today and I've got my tin roof above me, sun shining because I'm not painting at night time today and it is absolutely boiling, so I'm hot. And then combine that with a bit of lighting and hair dryer and get even hotter. So, and I've almost run out of tissues. I'm going to be in a world of hurt. In fact, I have to go find some more because that is not enough. It's not going to work. The, the only tissues I've got, and I'm not sponsored, of course, by Kleenex, luckily, the only tissues I've got left are these Kleenex Wellbeing Eucalyptus ones. Don't ever buy these. They are absolutely terrible for picking up water. All they do is move it across the page. So if you're going to get tissues, get the very cheapest ones you can find, and they actually work the best. So just so you know, I'll use these tonight, but I, I hate these. That's why they're hanging around, because they're rubbish. Just off to the side here where you guys can see. We're going to use some cerulean blue up the top here. I'll keep them handy because I might just want some more. Bit of cobalt blue. Love a bit of cobalt blue. Bit of raw sienna. Bit of yellow ochre. Bit of Windsor yellow. It's pretty strong yellow. Oh, and that's an old one of mine. That's pretty solid. Coming out of there. And then some Payne's grey down the bottom. And my spray bottle is almost broken which is very sad. I need to go to a store and get some more. So I'm just going to wet the top of the page. I can use a spray bottle, but I don't have to. I could just use the brush. I'm just going to wet down to here. I'm just probably just wet this bottom part a bit, but not much. I'll just mostly wet this top part and get it nice and wet. Beautiful. Oh, it's already started coming off, it's so hot. So I'm just going to come in here. Nice. Get some more. Put some more water on there and start moving it around a bit.
stuffed at the moment. More action happening there. Just spraying with the spray bottle. Now I'm going to go directly up and maybe a bit angled. there to help. Yeah. Those explosions. Oh, oops. It was meant to be spray. Grab my card and just. Oh, I've gone a bit further, I think. It's getting messy, and I should clean up, even though I'm low on tissues. I don't really like this bit here, so I'm just going to rinse this out a bit. We'll see. Come on, spray bottle. Work. I just didn't really want them there. Let's just pick up some of that. Bring in some. No, I'm not. It's too. Uh, it's too dry. <laughs> Jeez. It's too solid. That's bad. Oh dear. Oh dear.
actually not going to have quite the same effect, is it? Not even close. Oh dear. Better. I found some fresher Winsy Yellow. There we go, beautiful. Beautiful. Not very well prepared. I've just got some cardboard here now to just bring in a bit of fresh cobalt blue. I just need to keep it at this angle for a little bit. There's still a lot of water moving across the page. And I want things to be sweeping in that direction.
All right, so, so I, I'm just playing around getting details, just trying to make this painting work really. That's what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to make it work. We'll see whether this is a good idea or not, but I, for me at the moment it's lacking a tiny little bit of a subject. These are the subjects here, but I want something else. So I'm going to see if this can help. So things will seep in a bit and make it less obvious but all right I think I think I'm happy with that it's an interesting interesting painting interesting abstract trees a bit of flow some pretty solid bits of color in places which will dry pretty matte but that's okay and you can see there's water pooling down the bottom here so I've got to just keep coming along and just sort of mopping that up a little bit if I don't want there to be a a dark line down the bottom but these are the rubbish tissues that just move the water around rather than actually soak it up and I think I'll just quickly just take that out a bit because that's a bit too full on there on the edge. Let's make that a bit, make that a bit less. Beautiful. So thanks for joining me tonight in this abstract, large abstract landscape, Lena Gemzo sort of style. Uh, if you like this video, please press like, and if you want to know about future videos, then press the subscribe button, press the bell button. And if you want some more help with your watercolors, then you can join me on Patreon. So thanks very much guys, and I'll see you next week. Good night.